This tutorial looks at how to use the Winter Thrushes Survey mapping tool to draw the route for your winter walk. To use the mapping tool, you must have previously logged into the survey and chosen a nominal square, and those are covered in another tutorial. Each um, Winter Thrushes Survey location has a fixed route which the observer follows on every survey visit. The observer defines the route in the survey's online database and can edit it there at any time. And the way to create and edit the route is to use the survey's specially developed mapping tool, which I'm just about to demonstrate. So I've al already logged into my Winter Thrushes survey data home page and my squares are listed for me. Um, I'm going to uh, uh, draw a route for one of those squares and to do that I'm going to press square setup on the menu and this brings up my list of squares with a green tick if they've been mapped already and a, a cross if they haven't. Um, and uh, if they've not been mapped, here's an invitation to map square. And this brings up the aerial map. The boundary of the square is, is marked. Um, got some options there for displaying uh, what's actually shown on the map. And we also have a set of tools here uh, modes, drawing tools, and uh, navigation tools. Um, and to get started on drawing a route, we need the pen as a drawing tool. Um, and this highlights that we're drawing a line. Uh, we could choose a polygon, but um, for drawing a route, it's the path mode that we want, uh, just a simple line. I'm going to draw a route that starts somewhere near the high view bed and breakfast, good place to start, with a, a click at that point there. And now as I move the mouse, I'm dragging a line behind the mouse. And if I click again, I've made a, a, another point. I'm going to put another point on that corner, another one there. And at this point, my route cuts across some open country. More or less like this, and onto this trail. So I'm just making some clicks as I go along this path, back to the main road, and then back up to the starting point. And to end my route, I click twice, a double click, and there is my route. To submit it to the database, uh, I must now press this green tick, otherwise what I've done will be thrown away. So submitting the, the data uh, sends that map to the database. But I can go back in if I want to and edit it. There it is again. Um, and I'm going to press the edit mode drawing tool um, and if I click the line uh, there are all the points that I've made along that line and I can move any of those points if I want to. Uh, to see what's happening a little more clearly I'm going to zoom in and I could do that either with the, the mouse wheel or with these with this uh, scale here. Um, and I'm going to drag the map, click and drag, so that my route is visible. I'm going to go in one more notch. And again, drag the route so that it's visible. OK, and now I'm going to, um, to move some of these points so that they're a little more accurately placed. Um, so I can see where this point is now more clearly in relation to the road which I'm going to walk along. So I'm just going to click on that point and shift it across a bit. 
and this one as well is off the road so I'm going to move it up uh, click and drag the map um, there's a point that's not quite right um, that's fine uh, this one needs moving and you'll see that each line between the points that I've made also has another point which can be dragged so if we wanted to uh, we could create a, a dog leg like that and doing so immediately produces two more intermediate points so that we can uh, mould the route quite closely to where we actually walk okay so I'm happy now that that's a much better representation of my route there it is full scale and I'm going to save that submit changes and pressing that green tick means that the edited map is now stored in the database instead of what we had before uh, if I press edit map again uh, you can see there it is um, I don't need to make any more changes to it at this point so that's uh, that's job done on that one